Today, we're in the heart of Bed-Stuy at 255 Stuyvesant Avenue, arguably one of the best blocks in all of Bed-Stuy. But also a pre-war luxury limestone listing right here on Stuyvesant Avenue. This home was originally built in 1893 by then prolific builder E.H. Bishop. It has since been meticulously renovated into a five bedroom, four bath and three half bath triplex over garden apartment. You gotta see this home. So what makes this property so special is the fact that you have great detail and you also have great inspiration to give it a modern touch. The primary bathroom has been inspired by Vanessa Hudgens and what she did on the Architectural Digest feature. So wait till you take a look. They nailed it perfectly. Let's head upstairs. You nailed that perfectly, sir. This parlor floor is absolutely grand. You can really feel the 20 wide and just how much open space you have here. And today we're here with Ann Kush, who's one of the developers of 255 Stuyvesant. And you know, typically, and you know this as well as anyone, right now the trend is to have the open kitchen concept, but you guys chose not to do that. Tell me a little bit about your thought process there. Yeah, I mean, we love brownstones, right? And I was so excited to renovate one, but I was so heartbroken to walk into so many places and see that developers just like ripped out the original wall, right? We decided to keep this wall right here that's part of the original architecture of the house. It creates separate spaces. This is the parlor, this is the living room and the dining room. Then you have the kitchen, but it's also still making the house feel original. And one thing I think is really important that the all buyers need to know that all of the windows are gonna be changed here. As you said, we're gonna have a new double hung windows that are thermal break. Um, they let, they'll block out all the sound from the street and create a real nice sanctuary in here. But yeah, we kept all the original molding. This dark original color is beautiful. It's cozy, it's warm, it's inviting. Um, yeah, I love, I love this room so much. This kitchen is everything. I mean, this is everything you need in the kitchen. First of all, we have to start with this island. Yeah, so this is a marble countertop, really beautiful gold inlay. Um, I read this New York Times article that was like, everyone's hanging out in the kitchen now. Absolutely. And I was like, you know what? I wanna host, I wanna have parties. Um, so if I'm gonna live in this house, I wanna have a big island where you can put a lot of food around, have everyone hang around, um, and have this beautiful stone, all stone marble, one slab. This is all in one slab, so you don't have seams or anything anywhere. I love this stove. This stove mm -hmm. is, uh, what is this, an Ilve stove? Yeah, made in Italy. Wow. Took four months to come in. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the things we knew from the very beginning that we wanted was this stove. And so we almost built the kitchen around this stove because it's just so beautiful. I mean, look at those details, right? And the one thing I know, you know, a lot of families really love storage space. I love all this custom cabinetry that you guys have in here. Tell me about, you know, the color scheme and your thought behind that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we wanted to make a really inviting, warm kitchen, but again, really bold, right? We wanted it to feel specific. Um, so we painted all the cabinetry, ferro and ball paint, um, this kind of like, bluish black color, but then we did the really warm lighting so it wouldn't feel cold, right? Right, right. So that the theme continues, that great mix of modern and original detail. And now we are in this massive primary bedroom and bathroom, and I have another one of the developers here, Austin. Thank you for joining us. I really want to know, what were you thinking when you created this space? Like, what was the inspiration? It's absolutely beautiful and I'm ready to move in. So tell me about your inspiration. Yeah, so this space is actually, it, it's really big, but I wanted to really focus on making it still feel cozy. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a lot of elements like the fireplace right here. We have this- Wood burning. Nook. Yeah, wood burning fireplace. Mm -hmm. We also have this um, nook over here for the bed. It's still really big. You can put a large bed here, but it's very comfortable. Um, and one of my other favorite things about this room is that um, in the e afternoons, you get really nice light coming in through these windows. West it's facing, Western yeah. Facing. So it's like the sun is setting as yes. you're going to bed, which is perfect. Yeah. And just like the window bays, all have been restored back to their original mahogany. And remember, all of the windows throughout the entire home are also gonna be brand new. But what I love most about the setup is while you may go to sleep, while the sun is settling on the west, you wake up with the sun rising on the east. Let's go take a look.
And in addition to the original built-in closet, this hallway is actually two full-length closets as well. The hallway leads into a primary bathroom that is to die for. Inspired by Vanessa Hudgens' bathroom that was originally featured in Architectural Digest, it welcomes the Eastern sunrise. This bathroom is a dream. So this is one of my favorite spaces in the house. Um, we really wanted to create a sanctuary that you could escape to and really set a mood. And you did, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, everything from the double sinks, the lighting, like every texture, everything that you apply in this space makes me feel so relaxed. Like I wanna end my days here. You really could live in here. I feel like you could actually just live in this bathroom. It's definitely bigger than most apartments in New York City. Absolutely stunning. This is also my favorite part of the house. Okay, so we're in the backyard with Ankush, and I want to find out from you, Ankush, what are your plans for the back deck? Yeah, I love it back here, and I love the idea of making a deck that is the full width of the backyard. We can make the deck as big as possible, as code allows, and then we did put that um, beer and wine fridge right there inside the kitchen. Yes. So you just open that door, uh, grab a beer, grab glass, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then you're on your full deck. Um, I love it. This is like a backyard created for hosting. Like you even have different pocket areas back here for like different private little parties that are going on in one event. So that really works great that you don't feel like you're disrupting a neighbor behind because you don't have a neighbor behind. It's just completely private, but yet perfect for as many guests as you'd want to have back here. The city is out there. Exactly. Right? But back here, this is our space. This is our place to relax. And the best part is, and I really love this on Kush, is that you get to have a say, you, the buyer, you get to have a say in how this is going to be finished. So all of these ideas are great, but if you want to go in a different direction, this is the time to speak up. This is the time to become a part of the conversation. But you have a say as a buyer, 255 Stuyvesant Avenue.